Let's talk about Google Pixel 4a, an approved version of Pixel 4. My name is Gary Pinesser. I will talk about in this video why you should go for a budget phone or the reason why you should wait for the newer flagship phone from Google, which is Pixel 5. Time for intro now. As we all know, Google Pixel phones are in market for a while now, and they have a good record to improve every time with something new. But somehow, Pixel 1, Pixel 2 were more popular, Pixel 3 was not that popular, Pixel 4 was, I think, flop. But since Pixel 3, they introduced one another segment which was the A version of phones, Pixel 3a, 4a this time. So what they are doing, they're keeping the same camera from the flagship phones, but they decrease on the processor side. So performance won't be that good, but still if you're looking for a good camera, which pixels are known for, you will still get that even when you pay less money. So this is good. So that's why Google Pixel 3a was very popular last year and people were waiting for Pixel 4a this year as well. So finally they launched it. Um, it's been a two months now. So that's why we are here to discuss about it. And why should you buy it? I think for Pixel uh, A models like Pixel A series, uh, the best thing about them is their price point. So let's dig into it. So before we go further, let's see their specifications. So let's talk about Google Pixel 4a, what, what there is in the body. So processor is Snapdragon 730G, which is lower from Pixel 4, which is obvious, but it comes with 128 internal memory, base memory. There is no other option, but it comes with the base 20, 128, which is very nice. 6 gig of RAM and same 12.2 megapixel camera. So question is, who should buy this? Well, if you're looking for a phone where you don't have to spend much, but you still get a very nice camera, Google Pixel 4a is a very good choice. No doubt about it. Secondly, you're getting 6 gig of RAM. It's very good for multitasking. And 128 internal memory you don't have, although, you know, Google Pixel, so you cannot expand the memories. So 128 is very good enough for any normal user. And last but not least the best is the camera so after all this whatever you're getting and if you only have to pay 479 canadian dollars what else you want if this is something you're looking for then this is best for you you can buy it without any question but there are other people who are looking for best in class phones they expect so many things from the phone they want very great screen high ram multitasking they also want to play games on it and amazing camera top-notch camera then you have to stick with flagship models like note 20 ultra s20 ultra google pixel 4 and wait for pixel 5 and iphone 11 series of course so in this case uh, if you want if you are more interested in Google, so definitely you should wait for Google Pixel 5 Even though this phone lags in performance and it's not made up of like premium material But overall if you look at this phone, you won't feel that uh, you having a very cheap phone you still get a good quality output from it and I would say it's a worth every penny there are other phones in this segment like from Samsung a71 a51 uh, iPhone SE but if I have to pick one in this area I would definitely go with Pixel 4a these are totally my personal views uh, your views could be different from me and depends on person to person if you are more inclined towards the iOS then of course maybe you can choose between uh, iPhone lower end models but uh, if you look at the overall what you get out of it I would definitely stick with the Pixel 4a in this area. So let me know what you think about it in the comments. And if you need any other video or any comparison between different phones or anything, I will try to do a video on that as soon as possible. So that's all for today. I'll see you with the next one. Thanks for watching.